Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flipped Teacher professional learning video, I'm going to be showing you how to use branching in Google Forms. Now, branching is kind of like, think about the old choose your own adventure books. The section that you go to in a Google Form will depend on the answer you give to a particular question. So to demonstrate this, I'm using a parent-teacher meeting request form that I've set up. So we can see at the top, we've got the form name, we've got, this is obviously answers being put in by the parent, your name, your child's name, what class your child is in, please choose a preferred time to meet. And I've got down here, how would you prefer to be contacted, by phone or by email? Now obviously you want the person's, the parent's phone number or you want their email address. You don't necessarily want both uh, because the parent doesn't necessarily want to be contacted by both options. So what we can do here is we can set up a branching choice. Now what I need to do before I can do that is I need to set up the next sections. So I'm going to go down to my option bar here and we can see we've got add question, title and description, image, video. The equal sign allows me to add a new section. So as long as I'm in the question that I, is the final question for that section, if I click on the equal sign here, you can see it says add section, it will add a brand new section underneath. And I can see that is section two of two. So here I can put in a title for the section. So here I now add a question. What is your phone number? Short answer. Now this is where data validation will come in handy. If I click on the vertical three dots, I can click data validation. Now I only want a phone number. I don't want an email address or anything like that so I make sure that it says number and I make sure it is a whole number because a phone number is obviously it's only going to be whole number. Now what I can do up here if I come back to the how would you prefer to be contacted question if I click on the three if I select that question again and click on the three dots I can now select go to section based on answer. We can see here that now it gives us some new options in the uh, in the question there. So if next to phone, continue to next section, go to section one or go to section two. I want to select go to section two, your contact details, which will then take the person, the respondent here. I'm going to clarify that, make that a little bit clearer. Uh, I'm going to call it your phone number. So up here that has now changed to say go to section two, your phone number. Obviously for email, I need another section to do that. So I'll come down here. Add section, I've now got section three of three. Your email address, what is your email address? And again, I need to use data validation here. Click on data validation, it's still there. Now I want to select text. And one of the options I have in the text is an email address. You can see that the other options there, but I want the email address. And I can put custom error text here. I'm simply going to put please enter a valid email address. So that will help the parent pick up whether they've left out the at sign or forgotten the .com or whatever it may be. Now I come back up to the how would you prefer to be contacted question where it says by email. Next to that I select, go to section three, your email address. At the end of section two, I need to tell the system, or I need to tell Google Forms where I want it to go. If I, by default it says go to next section, but I don't actually in this case want it to go to the next section because I, I don't want that data if they've selected email. I actually want it to go to submit form. So you need to find underneath the section, after section two, continue to next section and choose submit form. At the end of the final section, you'll see there isn't that option there because by default, if that's the last question, then you want them to submit and that's where it will go. So let's take a look and see what this looks like in practice when we do a, a dummy form. So your name, John, child's name is Jane, the child is in 1A. How would you prefer to be contacted? Email, next. So this should take me to section two, beautiful email address. And you'll notice that as I start typing, it tells me that I haven't put a valid email address in. Bob at email.com, and it says there submit. If, it, if I hadn't set up that branching request after section two, go to submit, it would take me by default to the next section, which isn't what I actually want to happen. I click submit, it's gone through. Now, that's a very, very simple look at one way of setting up branching or one way of using branching. Don't forget there are a number of other ways and you can have your students create choose your own adventure type stories. There are a huge range of options. But for more helpful videos like this one, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link. Until next time, thanks for watching.